I don't give a f about your core essentials bullshit. You guys know that I am a fan of these Segura gear belts, the emissary belts. I was sent a little care package yesterday. Oh, thanks guys. Three things you're looking for in an EDC CCW belt. What are they? For me, not being a fat ass that needs the ratcheting belt system. My fucking waist size doesn't change inches every time I have a meal, you pigs. Jesus. A normal looking buckle. Something you're not gonna stand out like a complete and total weirdo. Someone sees your belt buckle, especially if you have to carry with a shirt tucked in, right? Which you can do, we'll cover that later. Just about any holster. All these you can see CW shirt tucked in. The normal buckle is just easier. It, it meshes with everything else in your life. It's not this special tactical thing. It's very, very slim. Number two, bulk. You want this thing to not be cumbersome. You're going to be wearing it all day, every day with a gun. Sometimes a full-size gun with a Surefire X300U in it, right? Don't be adding bulk with your belt. Number three, the must have. Whatever justifications you can find for yourself to ignore my advice on the other things, go through 12, 15 different belts like I did. I don't give a shit. I'm just trying to save you time, man. The main feature of a gun belt is that it's stiff in this dimension. Top down, stiff. You cannot compress it. You cannot smash it. This is extremely important for carrying a gun. I've showed you this in other videos before. You get that holster on there with the weight of the gun. When it's pressed up against you, it can't be flexing downward. You see that? I'm twisting, of course, but it can't be sagging. Sagging is what causes discomfort. That's what gives you the chafing in any spot, the vertical stiffness. It does not matter how flexible it is in this dimension. That'll fit to conform you until you get to the point where you're adding bulk. Stiff in the vertical dimension means that the clips aren't smashing the belt. You get that bunched up thing happening like in all the leather belts. Fucking boomers still like to wear leather belts. Every time a shift of that manner happens, discomfort is created. It's not where it should be, right? These belts, yeah, I've been pimping them way before they sent me free shit, right? Real brass grommets and that non-dramatic buckle that's a normal buckle. These even come with a little nylon keeper. That may be nice, depending on what you're doing. I usually take it off. My belt loops are the keeper. They probably got all your fancy colors accounted for. They contacted me, I just asked for one belt. I'm like, yeah. This one's starting to get worn out. You can see the brass grommets, all the black wore away, right? So that's kind of pretty. But mine's getting a little soft after eight years. So I'm like, yeah, you know what? Send me a new emissary belt. <laughs> look at what these fuck. Look at what these fucking people did. Must be nice to be a YouTuber, huh? Must be nice. Turns out I didn't know about this. If you're the kind to go out shooting quite often and you use a uh, you use a range belt, a battle belt, a war belt, they make the same thing. It looks like the emissary belt it looks completely the same to me, but it's got that Velcro loop side on the interior. Brass grommets and all, really, really low profile. That's kind of a sweet rig, especially when I go teaching people and I get to put on my range belt. So I have my clock outside the waistband carry, obviously, and my extra mags and my dump pouch and my fucking med kit. I'll probably switch to this one. I CCW2 the range, get there, off comes that gun and on goes my battle belt. Speaking of, I didn't know, I, didn't, I haven't tested this at all. I don't know what I think of it, right? Here's their battle belts. They sent me a black and they sent me a black and tan of everything. That's good for my Yeti. I'm gonna have to buy a new one if it doesn't sit right. Can't fucking stand it. Anyway, their battle belt option. It's a cobra buckle, real cobra buckle. It looks like they got another inner belt option here. This looks to be a double layer of what the EDC is with the uh, hook side Velcro on the outside as well. Still same construction. Oh fuck, I like that. I like it a lot. I'll try all these out, but I'm wagering that I stick with the original emissary that I've been carrying for eight years. This looks to be just a regular belt. Belts for days. We're gonna do, a, we're gonna do some giveaways on some live streams. Let's see, what do they got here? They got, uh, I was looking through this. They've got Molly pouch belt adapters. Look at that craziness. Oh shit, I'm just realizing what these are. I haven't actually opened the packaging. 
Ziploc bags. Oh, they are not fucking around. You unscrew these things, lace it in your molly and then screw it back in. Is that what I'm seeing here? That should stay. But look at these clippies. Looks like it clips to the belt. Does this even, is this intended for the regular belts? I think so. Now, now we're talking. Let me get the tan one for contrast purposes. This clips onto the exterior. Oh shit. Well, that's kind of neat. Oh man, I'm gonna use these dirt biking. Wow, that's actually a great idea. You all know if you just wanna get out into the woods and just escape for a minute, right? You don't wanna gear all the way up on your dirt bike, but you need to bring medical and it needs to be on you. But you don't wanna be wearing a backpack or a full chest rig or anything like that. I can already see my med kits going on this thing. Obviously it's gotta be on you, right? In case you're separated from the bike. Okay, well it's not coming off. Accidentally, that's for sure. So you actually have to pry up. Guys, that's a... That's a neat idea. I've never seen that before. I don't keep up with the shenanigans in the world, but I've never seen that before. Kind of blowing my mind. Open up all kinds of possibilities. That's the new standard for where your med kit goes. For me, when I'm not gearing all the way up. I, uh... That's a good idea. <laughs> All right, well, that's it. You know, they got a, they got all your accessorizing covered too, probably, it looks like. They sent me a whole bunch of these little, uh, what is this? Yeah, this is a Fastex, this is a buckle. Oh, these are leg straps for holsters. Okay, yep. Thigh strap, if I would've just read it, that would've been good. Keepers in your, in your clippies, hang your gloves off your belt type thing. Looks like they got all that too. Of course, there it is. Segura gear. Ballsy enough to send me stuff. If they want to hop into the comments and give some kind of discount code, they can. I tend to not do that stuff because then you got to sign things and signing stuff inevitably means that you have to probably play ball in some way. And I tell you, my ball playing days are over. Segura Gear Emissary. It's the best EDC belt in the game. I don't give a fuck about your core essentials bullshit. I've tried it. I've carried it for longer than you. It sucks.